the language of universe. If you don't understand mathematics, you cannot understand the universe. Because the universe has all circles, triangles and all different shapes. So if you see mathematics is a language of universe. Mathematics is spiritual. How many of you agree with me? What is spiritualism? Believe in God. None, no other subject can be as spiritual as mathematics is. Spiritualism according to me is connect to yourself. When you try to connect to yourself, you are said that you know you are spiritual. Right? And to connect with yourself, you have to first establish the disconnection. Otherwise, how can you connect? And maths is one subject which teaches you how to disconnect. इसके ऊपर मुझे मैथमेटिक्स नहीं आता और ना ही मैंने यूज किया पूरी इंडस्ट्री में यही काम कर रहे हैं लोग सीनियर वीपी से लेके उनको क्या लगाना आता है एक्सेल में सम काउंट एवरेज और पेमेंट टेबल इससे ऊपर उनको मैथमेटिक्स नहीं आता ये आईटी में पास होने के बावजूद चाहे उनको आता है लेकिन ये एप्लीकेशन है इंडस्ट्री में मैथमेटिक्स की ओके विच आर एक्चुअल सॉफ्टवेयर वी आर यूजिंग टुडे हमारे टाइम पे क्या इस्तेमाल होता है Is the company still there or new software? Yeah? Now we will come back to profit. We will come back. Okay. In the last 15 years, there is no company which has given competition to profit. There was one more system which I came, I don't remember. Okay. But they are the undisputed leaders in the actual software. Okay. Whatever you do, whatever, I can put it on the software and make you jobless. The days are not for it is only five years. You have only five years time. I am not discouraging you. I'm sure I have been called here to give lecture on what are the opportunities I am speaking reverse. Next one. So there are two forms of data. Something is called big data and which is unstructured format. So big data includes everything. If I'm talking, this is data which is being created and this data can also be analyzed. Videos could be analyzed, text data can be analyzed, blogs can be analyzed, newspaper can be analyzed, websites could be analyzed, and all of these could be analyzed by a server and technology called Hadoop, which is used for unstructured data. So there are two types of data, structured data and unstructured data. So I will explain briefly what is uh, artificial intelligence, what is machine learning. So artificial intelligence is same thing which is a human brain. The way human brain works, I have put on this slide and explain you what is the structure of human brain and what is the structure of artificial brain. So uh, artificial intelligence could be a minus and business intelligence part. Then next, for when you go to people it becomes machine learning. 
when the machine starts analyzing data and correlating the inputs with outputs. You had talked about uh, uh, Bitcoin, uh, cryptocurrency. <laughs> uh, and I want to ask that most of the people, most of the economists are criticizing cryptocurrencies. And what are, what is your take about cryptocurrencies and why do you feel that like Bitcoin is going to make certain uh, difference in the future? Oh, my question is to Vikas Raj sir. Sir, can we say that uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh and RBI Governor, uh, ex-RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan, they are good data scientists? Yeah, so in the year 2005, the number of uh, actuarial students from the Institute of Actuaries of India was 3,640, while the number of fellows were 203. As of 2017, the number of students are 9,352 and the number of fellows are 344. So looking at the number of students and the number of fellows, I mean, the reason for fellowship is it because uh, the merit, purely based on merit or would you say that India doesn't require so many number of actuaries? Uh, hello sir, my name is Yash. Uh, my question is to Rajesh sir. Uh, it was very enlightening talk. Uh, so you talked about a lot of unexplored and upcoming sectors. My question was, uh, what are the learning methods uh, we as a students can inculcate under this design thinking, uh, what we should inculcate to make these disruptions in the unexplored and the upcoming sectors? We as a students, because uh, it is a high time that you know we can't rely on colleges, we can't rely on the universities, we can't rely on just on teachers. So like what learning methods should we inculcate as a students?